Michelle here from Sparkle My Pink and welcome to my April Ipsy unboxing. Oh my gosh! And I did not look at any of the sneak peeks. I know it's supposed to be kind of bohemian or like, you know, very Coachella-ish, but that is about it. A uh, few things that I kind of wanted to address real quick. I'm talking with my hands a lot today for some reason. I wanted to talk about Generation Beauty, which is the Ipsy Beauty Conference going on in New York as well as in LA. I'm going to be attending the one at the LA Live at the end of May. So in just a couple of weeks here, we're going to be going, me and a couple of my girlfriends are taking a road trip, no kids. No, you know, it's just going to be a girls weekend. I am so, so in need of a girls weekend, but I would love to meet up with some of you guys if you're going to be in the LA area or going to be attending the Ipsy event. So comment below or email me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we can chat and share pictures and meet up and take selfies together and be all kinds of fun. I think there was something else I was going to say, but if I remember as we're going along... I'll say it. But anyways, let's get into the bag and see what's in here. Gosh, I have been getting Ipsy for two years now? Three years. I don't know. I basically started my channel opening Ipsy bags and that's why I like, I absolutely love doing these every single month. It is, even when you get like kind of crappy bags, it's still exciting for me and I still look forward to it very much so. So this is the back here. It's kind of a woven type texture. It's like wheat. It's really cool and very like hippie-ish to me. So I love this. And it feels a little bit bigger than the normal Ipsy bag size. I think this is another Ipsy bag that I had. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger, which I like. I like having a little bit of variety in these. And I do keep all of these bags. It's I'm totally like an Ipsy bag hoarder collector. Okay, first item out of the bag is this cute little booger right here. It is the mini nude eyeshadow, nude dude, <laughs> from the balm. It's in the shade Fit. Very natural looking. Ooh, it's got a shimmer to it. That's really pretty. Almost a coppery golden sort of shade. Catches the light really nicely. And it really is a decent size. It's just a little square, but I like this. I like the pot products that I've tried from the Blom. I have a Sexy Mama, blah, Sexy Mama translucent powder as well as their Bahama Mama perfect for contouring bronzing powder. I'm going to keep those right here on my vanity right where I can grab them. Ooh, what is this? Pandora's Blush. And it's in a adorable little thing. Little container. Like a little origami little open thing okay and it's a little pan perhaps it's magnetic I don't know I don't really have any of those Z palettes or anything like that to try that with though but it's a gorgeous shade it's in the color pink carnation it doesn't seem to have any shimmer in it ooh I like it I like it a lot and it feels really smooth. <gasps> Ooh, should I put a little bit on? Let's put a little bit on. Oh my gosh, it's very pigmented. I literally just went like, boop. Can you see it or is it too dark? I don't know. Am I too close to the light? Girl, I'm not good at this. It is very pigmented. My blush game is on today, that's for sure. It's really, <laughs> it's there. <laughs> All right, very cool. And I've never heard of that brand, Pandora's Face. Very nice to try something new. What else we got in here? <gasps> what is this, what is this, what is this? A moisturizing lipstick. It's a beautiful color by Elizabeth Arden. <gasps> it's in Red Door Red number two. <sighs> kind of hoping it was going to be like a pinky nude because I'm totally a sucker for nude shades, but maybe this will get me out of the box. I did wear a red lipstick to work yesterday. Y'all should be proud of me. And I was really nervous about it, but it worked out well. <gasps> Look at this fancy little packaging here. Very nice. Ooh, fire engine red. That's really pretty. Oh, and there's even a design on the lipstick itself. Look, you see the design on the lipstick itself? How funny is that? 
That's fancy right there. I don't know if I'm brave enough to put this on right now. Let's put this aside for just a second and open up the rest of the bag. I will stop and say, I don't feel like this is very bohemian in shades. When I think of bohemian, I think of natural. I think of blush tones like this and eyeshadows that are kind of like this. But the red doesn't really fit in with the theme for me. Just my little tidbit there. I also have a Molin and Sparrow handmade vegan all natural tinted green Greek green cheek oh lip and cheek balm it's so tiny I can't barely read it ooh very pretty now this is very more bohemian ish and easygoing in my opinion not so much the fire in your knee red but I like that that doesn't scare me as what much strangely I don't know why Oh, it smells really good. Really fresh. Kind of light and fresh. Okay, what else? Oh, there, there's one more item in the bag here. It is from Micah Beauty Cosmetics, and it is an eye primer. Now, we did get an email about this eye primer saying that it was changing people's eyelid colors or something like that. I don't know. It looks like it's the perfect shade for me, just a neutral base. I'll try it. Um, or maybe they were talking about the discoloration in the pan. Is that what it was? I don't know. I didn't really read the email too thoroughly because I hadn't gotten my bag yet. I almost didn't want to know. Let's see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about here. See how there's like little bubbles in there? And they do look kind of green. It's weird. It's really, really weird. It's a little discerning. But they said that they, you know, reassured us that it was totally safe and things like that to use. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know if you would use this after getting an email before you've even received it that people are suspicious of it. <laughs> Overall, I really love this bag. I love the bag itself. I mean, I normally am like, oh yeah, it's cute, but this, I really, 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 really love this. I love the shade of blush. It's something I would actually wear, and I feel like it's perfect for spring and summer, and easy going, and just effortless beauty, as well as the eyeshadow. Totally going to be rocking this. The tinted lip balm and cheek stain is very nice. Let's try out the tinted balm. It smells good. It smells like Christmas M&M's. Are those mint? Not much of a color to it at all. Very, very sheer. Okay, since that was so sheer, dare I try the lipstick. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You guys, in peer pressure, you're pressuring me to try things out of my box. But I always encourage you guys to do the same. So I'm going to use a little lip brush here and apply it like that. I'm just kind of dusting it on. All right, let's see what this looks like. It's a really pretty color, actually. And it's very, it's shearing it out with that lip balm underneath, which I'm okay with that. I feel like I'm just so afraid of dark, like, lip colors because I feel like it makes me look so done. And I usually like to play around with my makeup maybe a little bit too much. I don't want to look, like, too overdone, like, too much makeup on my face. All right, what do you guys think? Do you think I can pull off this color? It kind of makes my teeth look really white though, so that's snazzy. Just want to smile the whole time. All right, so that is it for this bag. I think I kind of talked about everything probably twice by now. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are watching my videos still. It really does make me feel like pretty cool, like having this community online and you know having the SMP family so thank you so much for following along if you don't already follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram check out my blog at sparklebepink.com I haven't posted there too much lately but I will be getting back to it so follow me for updates on that as well as subscribe to this channel for updates here I tend to be most active on my YouTube my Instagram and Facebook especially also if you are going to be in the LA area or attend the Generation Beauty Ipsy event uh, the, the all weekend, it's a Saturday and a Sunday, I believe. I would love to meet up with you guys. So again, just get a hold of me and we'll kind of have a girl's day. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.